Morning, everybody. Jason at PJ Out Hollis Farms. So me and Cody had a pretty fair year this year. Got all my skull mounts back. I'm gonna turn around and show them to y'all because I, when I uh, a couple of times when I got these deer, I said I didn't show them enough. Uh, a couple of times I was war slam out and just trying to get done and get out of there. But anyway, let's look at them. Pretty interesting stuff. All right, so let's see if I can remember and go in order. Uh, PJ, hush. They are not gonna get up and run off. All right, so my guy that did these put tape on them in numbers so I could match the jaw bones. I hadn't even looked at any of the jaw bones. Not really concerned with the jaw bones. Uh, there was a reason that I took every one of them besides, uh, anyway, just did. So let's go, all right, PJ. So this was the first bow, first bow shot of the year. guy did a heck of a job too they're clean let's see then this is the interesting one pj hush oh uh, this is this is the one i got most of the hay about you know, i was so wore out back hurting just didn't get many pictures this is the the massive heavy horn one i got pretty big hands i'm trying not to knock any of them down i got pretty big hands i can barely reach around that but the interesting thing brian found the sheds last year to this massive buck we called it and uh he grew quite a bit i mean you can if i don't knock them down and tear them up oh pretty good bit of difference on mass for sure oh let's see he added a point added a g4 not much of one but he did add one what did he do on his left side he lost a little mass, lost a G4 on the left side. No, he added a G4. I'm sorry, I'm looking at his shed. Added some mass and added a G4. I don't hardly ever look for sheds, and Brian got lucky and found them, and then we got him. Oh, uh, anyway, let me see if I can set him up. That was just a massive, old, mature buck. A dandy. And got his sheds. I got to figure out how I'm going to hang them sheds up with him. All right, and let's see. I think this seven point here, old seven point, was maybe the next one. Not a lot of mass, big old deer. Just needed to get out of there. Long times, though. Just didn't have a lot going on for him. I'm trying to see. This was a... This was our crossbow deer. Kind of a jacked up looking thing. They had to have help with the old heavy horn deer from smoke. And this is the big eight point that we got that morning. I think it was a morning. No, it was early afternoon, I believe. This is a good deer right here. It's about five or six bucks chasing one doe very nice deer very nice mature deer we got a, several old mature deer this year and then we got let's see i can't remember what order i believe that six point was the last one this is the one that got in the lake on us that smoke had to get this deer i knew him from the year before he actually went down quite a bit still a super, super nice deer but he did go down pretty bad on his left side but he definitely had all the opportunity he was going to get he was a nice nice deer hard to hunt deer finally finally got him out of the saddle that day and then this was the big six point that we got that's a pretty massive deer for a six point long times ain't gonna ever be much and a couple that couple that cody got this year nice little deer we had a good time this year good time got a lot of mature deer left i had several more on my hit list this year that i just didn't didn't quite get to i got burnt out hurting the whole season it's just it's hard to whew, 
it's a job to take out as, as many as I needed to take out the mature deer. Got quite a few does in there, worked with Rose a lot, really had, and PJ and Bobo, really had a good season. And um, uh, pretty much, I know one of the big deer um, that I was after, it had pic history of pictures the last couple of years, our neighbor got 11 point, I believe, if I remember right. Um, uh, who's calling me while I'm trying to video? All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I was just on the phone phone for an hour i had to uh i had to go back and listen to my last little clip to see where i was at and i'm gonna try to get my mind i get my mind on it and i i get to rolling and i forgot but anyway i was talking about the uh got down to uh the 11 point that our neighbor killed and i still i want to touch base with him i'm proud he got him and i'd really like to put my hands on the, on the horns I'm, I'm proud he got him as a deer that needed to go he was I don't know, probably five, six years old, just a super nice deer, big deer. I'm glad he got it. The picture I got was him with his little boy, and that that means a lot. I'm glad he glad he got that out of the way. But a super season we had, and like I said, I've got pictures of everything that we let go to let grow. So uh, super excited about getting some of this uh, habitat management done and everything and watching them grow this summer and starting off but but we got turkeys coming now so uh we got to get to that quicker but anyway that's me and cody's uh racks for this year was it 22 23 season appreciate y'all watching out of here